Which you guys got another video here for you. Can you reuse your Windows 10 or Windows 11 product key? I get asked this question all the time, so I thought I'd make a video explaining what you can do and what you can't do with your Windows 10 or Windows 11 product keys. So first off, let's take a look at the system, what we're on right here, and we can check out the product key here. So what we're going to do is go to start, then go to settings. Inside the settings pane here, you can click on activation and it will tell you what version of Windows you're running, in this case, Windows 11 Pro, and it will tell us that it's activated. The problem is it doesn't tell us what version of key we're running, whether we're running a OEM key or volume key or retail key. So the first thing you're going to want to do is find out what type of key you have on your system. So you can do this by typing CMD in the search box and run this as administrator and this will open up the command prompt window inside here you're going to want to type in this command here and this is going to tell us what type of key we have i'll leave all these commands in the video description for you so you can use them and copy and paste them straight in so we need to find out what key it is so the windows script host has opened up and it tells us that we're running a windows professional edition and this is a retail key now, retail keys are the most flexible types of keys that you can use. They allow you to reuse these keys on different computers. However, you can only use this on a single computer at any one time. So basically, you can reuse this key over and over again, but you can only use it on one computer at one time. So that is the beauty of retail keys, but they do come at a bit more of a premium than your standard OEM keys or volume keys. So just bear that in mind. So if you're buying a retail key, you can reuse it, but only on one computer at any one time. Now you can also type in this command here, and this is gonna allow us to find out how long the activation is for this particular key. Now this is especially useful for people that may have a volume key, and you'll probably find that it's only gonna be a number of days, and then that activation will deactivate, uh, and then basically you will have no activation on that computer. This is normally used for people that are downloading uh, pirated KMS activated keys off of the internet and things like that. So next up, we can type this command in again, and we can see what's on this one. This is what you call a volume KMS client. Now these volume keys are normally licensed by companies like governments, schools, and corporations and IT administrators normally distribute these to the computers in that facility. Now, if you've purchased a used computer from eBay or one of those places and you find it has a volume key on it, it's more than likely been activated illegally. And basically you are using a pirated version of uh, Windows, unless it was a company PC previously that was already activated. And if that is the case, then that should have been reactivated with another key because that key is registered for that company to use on their systems only in their business. And there's plenty of uh, websites out there promoting uh, free Windows activation and they're using this volume KMS client activator. And uh, I wouldn't advise doing it because plenty of them have got malware inside them. And that's probably why they're telling you to turn off your antivirus program and then run the actual program. And you're going to end up getting infected with a rootkit or a backdoor or something like that. And uh, it's not very good. So just don't use these types of things. And there's plenty of them on YouTube promoting it as well. I don't know why they're still there because it is piracy. And you need to be very, very careful uh, if you're going to be doing this uh, because you are going to end up getting infected. If you do find out you have a volume key on your system, it's always best to just wipe the system clean and reinstall Windows and buy a key and activate it uh, the proper way. Now, you will not be seeing these sort of volume keys being purchased on uh, third party seller sites. They just don't activate that way. And people are saying that are just misinformed or they don't know what they're talking about. Next up, we're talking about OEM keys here. Now, OEM keys are the sort of uh, keys that are purchased uh, by manufacturers that are producing mass amounts of PCs like Lenovo, HP, and all these other types of companies. And what they do is they activate them using an OEM key. Uh, and these are tied to the hardware. So usually the motherboard. Now, sometimes if your hardware fails, i.e. your motherboard fails, you can sometimes contact Microsoft and get this reactivated. And they will normally do this by the phone. 
and they will normally activate it. But sometimes you can get someone difficult on the other side. If it's an automated one, they will generally just ask you whether you've changed the hardware. If you say no, then they normally activate your version of Windows. If you say, yes, I've changed my motherboard, it's deemed as a new uh, computer. And it can normally mean that you have to buy a new key. And this is the problem with OEM keys. They are normally locked to the hardware and uh, basically uh, the motherboard. And once that's changed, it can uh, deactivate and have problems. Now, I've seen people saying, if as long as you put the same motherboard in, it will reactivate. Uh, you know, at the amount of times I've tried it, normally you just get an issue and it won't activate and you would normally have to go through the telephone method if you want to try to go through and get that activated. I can't be messed around with that sort of stuff. They're pretty cheap and affordable and you can buy these on third-party sellers uh, for around about $12 or something like that. So it's not worth a headache. Just buy another key and reactivate it. It's that simple. Another question I see people asking is, uh, is the OEM key transferable to another computer? No, it is tied to the hardware, which is that computer itself. So if you use that computer for 20 years, it will stay activated for 20 years. It's that simple. As soon as you uh, send that PC to the tip and it goes in the landfill, it will die with that computer. That is it. You can't transfer it. Now, another question I get is what happens if I have a dead motherboard or I need to change my motherboard? Normally, that is deemed as a new computer and it will then need a new key. Sometimes people have said that they have changed it, uh, the motherboard, and they've managed to uh, get it activated again. This is because you've probably called Microsoft and you've gone by the telephone service and uh, automated and uh, probably told a few porkies and got it to activate. That's the only reason you'll get an OEM key activated with a new motherboard. Anyway, I hope this video has been some sort of use to you about Windows product keys. Remember, retail keys can be purchased and transferred to other computers, but can only be used on one computer at any one time. OEM keys are locked to that computer hardware, and volume keys are used for large companies and corporations and schools and government buildings and things like that. Anyway, I think that's going to be about it for this video. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. Anyway, I think that's going to be about it. Hope you're enjoying the weather and I shall catch you in the next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.